In the course, Cultural Diversity in the Profession, you'll be required to write formal papers using APA format. A template has been created to help you with this format. If you go to Doc Sharing in your course, somewhere in this screen, it may be in a different order than what we're showing you today, you will find a file called Template for Papers in SOCH 350. Click on that file and download it to your computer. After you've downloaded it to your computer, inside of Word, open this file. The file has a template, uh, as a template of a title page, the content, and references. Let's go over a few features. First of all, in APA we have what we call a running head. It's an abbreviation of the title. In order to make this change on page one, you put your cursor in the upper left side of the paper, left click, and you may make changes to the header in this area. Do not touch the page number. It will page eight uh, automatically. To make this change on page two on, you have to go again on page two in the upper left corner, change the header, and then left click somewhere else. On page one in the title page, we have uh, an area to insert the official full title, a place for you to put your full name. Page two begins the official point of starting the content, the heart of the paper, the body of the paper. We're going to come back to this in just one moment. The last part of the paper is references. Notice that we already have the textbook listed in correct APA format. You'll also need to add other sources per the instruction for the specific assignment. Any source that is listed in references must be cited at least once in the body of the paper. Let's go back to the body of the paper, which begins on page 2. Again, we insert the full title of the paper at the top of page 2. You'll notice that we have a few headings already in place, introduction and conclusion. Per your assignment, you'll need to add additional headings. To illustrate how to cite a source in the body of the paper, we've used some, uh, a, a technique called printer's text, which really doesn't say anything. This is not a foreign language, but it's just to illustrate how we insert a citation. If the citation is actually part of the sentence, in this case, let's say it says, Diller states that. You would say Diller, and then in parenthesis, 2007, and complete the sentence. However, if you have a sentence in which you present an idea, but you're not actually putting Diller as part of the narrative, you would put Diller in parenthesis, 2007, at the end of the sentence or paragraph. Either way is correct APA format. Also remember, you have to cite in the body of the paper at least once any other source that you list in references. I trust that this template will help you as you write papers in this course. Thank you.